Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I am uh, making this thank you card to go with my week of thank yous for Stamping Up's charity, homeless charity. Um, these are for actually for the people, the homeless people, to give to their um, volunteer who helps them find accommodation. And Stampin' Up want 400, or would like 400. That is their aim, to get 400. So I'm actually making 10. So this will be day 3, so I, I am putting a video out every day this week. Um, so this is day 3 video. To make this um, card, I've actually got two brand new stamp sets thanks to my upliner she's let me borrow her two of her new stamps this one's called Daisy Lane no let's start with this one that'd be better floral essence we're going to use this big flower and on this card I use this leaf well when I looked at this Daisy Lane they've got a lovely fern so I'm going to use the fern this time. Instead of these leaves, we're going to have ferns. So I'm going to use that. And as none of these stamps have a thank you, I am just using a retired thank you from Eclectic Expressions, and I'm just going to use that. To make this card, you'll need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half and burnished and I never burnish them until I'm on camera two pieces of whisper white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths a piece of whisper white at two and a half inches I only did a little bit there in fact that is too wide so I'm going to cut that down to two inches. So cut off half an inch, she says. That'd be fine. So you need a piece of whisper weight at two inches, which we're going to score to give like a corrugated effect. You need a piece of Whisper White scrap for the flower and the thank you. So, um, to get started we'll score this bit first. I've never bought the scoreboard. Let me get it. Just place that in and scored it at a quarter of an inch, half an inch, three quarters. So it's like every quarter of an inch I just scored. We want this side where it's all bumpy. Oh, you can see that there, and that's the side we're going to use. So get rid of that. So we've done that. That will go across there. ferns down first. So I've got some old olive. And ink that up. Now these ferns are a lot bigger than the leaves. So let's bring that closer. That's going in the middle. So I'm going to place 
one there. I've not used this stamp, so oh, looks quite nice. And one there. And then I'm going to place one down here and one there. If I put that on, I think I'm going to cut this a bit smaller. I'm going to make it one and three quarters. So I'm going to cut up that line. Yeah. So this piece, make it one and three quarters. That's much better than a bigger one. I just wanted it a bit bigger than this one which was an inch and a half. Yeah. That's the ferns on. Right. Next, you need your scrap and we're going to stamp the flower. Now I'm going to stamp it in petal pink. And we're going to colour it in. And then fussy cut it out. And I must remember when I fussy cut it out to try and keep it in camera. But I did make a card fussy cut it and you couldn't see me doing it because someone said it. Right and with the old olive again I put it, put it away. We're going to stamp the little thank you and just stamp that there like that. Did I do anything in? Oh, I did with petal pink. And I didn't get the stamp out. This little image here. This flower. So I need it to lock. Over the inside. And just stamp that down. Oh, that's pretty. These are, um, like I said, my upliner's stamps. I have to give them uh, back on Saturday. She did say I could have a play with them. As she don't know when she'll get to play with them. <laughs> I thought that was very nice of her. Right, and I'm going to stamp. I didn't do a sentiment inside, no. So, oh. What I do is colour in the middle. Like that, and I'll put a bit of some orange dots in there. Can't really see that very well, can you? Because it's so pale. It's a pretty stamp. That's the inside. Right. This one, we're just going to paint it up in petal pink 
And what I did, there's some, I don't know what they are. I think they're the bits of the stamen. So I'm going to leave them and colour them in yellow, daffodil delight. The way this has been stamped, I don't think it's meant to be um, cut out. Because there's, um, like when you draw something, you don't connect it or do an extra line because that's what it looks like out here. There, there's extra light. Oh, can't see. Hard for you to see on this light colour. Quite a big stamp as well, this. Now what I did do with the dark Calypso Coral uh, That was, no, dark petal pink That was dark So what I will do is just go where there's leaves on top of each other just put like a shadow Just define the um, so that the top petals stick out a bit more. If you give a bit of a shadow either side. I think it does anyway. Right, and with light daffodil delight, we'll colour. Mm. Nib on that's not very good. And we'll just colour these stamens in, I think they are.
Right. Now, we're going to cut it out. All I do is leave a little border of white. Now, because this is so far away from me, I'm not doing what I usually do and move the paper, not the scissors. And just follow it all the way round. annoying me. So there we have it, one pretty flower, and then with my big scissors I will cut out my sentiment. Which is not very straight. better. Get rid of all that over there. Right, we can put this card together now. So, we'll glue this and put it inside. Now we're going to glue that across there. Yeah. Make sure you get the right side up. And I'm going to glue this on. And then with dimensionals, no, they're little ones. Oh, my big ones. All right, these are both going to go on dimensionals. That looks actually looks quite nice with the ferns. So, I'm going to put that on. All right, these need dimensionals. Put three on. Take backings off. And this will sit in the middle. Probably straight. And then this will sit on the side, hanging 
going over or just touching it that's it so that petal with a dimensional there that's it and then put a few dimensionals on the flower take the backers off and place that like that put these away Our card done, but I am gonna add gems because I think it needs it. So, let's see what I've got. I'll just do my normal silver gems. Oh, I'm gonna put gold ones on this one. No, wrong tool. Right. Nice. Let's put some silver ones on this one. I'm going to put that on the there. Oh, there you have it. It's a nice stamp. I do like that stamp. I think I might invest in that stamp set. But then I'd have to get this one as well because I do like the, the ferns. Oh dear. Right, two cards, similar layout, but the layout but different stamping i hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up and comment below and tell us which one you do like uh, if you haven't already please subscribe and press the notification bell button next to it and you'll be notified of any more videos i upload which is this week is every day monday to friday but usually it's uh, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting. I hope to see you again soon.